Hello beautiful people, Yasmin here. Welcome to Juliet Kitchen. Today you're in for an incredible treat. I'm showing you how to make this very simple, absolute, absolutely delicious butter flour tortilla. Once you make these tortilla, you probably will never buy store-bought again. Absolutely delicious. So I do hope you'll stick around long enough to see how I pull together this amazing, super delicious tortilla recipe. I'm actually going to be using these to make shrimp quesadillas. I'll share with you the recipe for that as well in a separate video. Get the printable recipe on my food blog and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for video updates. Okay, to get started, I have cold butter. You really want your butter to be cold. Um, I have also flour and the other ingredients we need is baking powder, some sea salt or you could use kosher salt, and some water. I have my water at about 95 degrees, anyway from 95 to 100 degrees work. Okay, so I have my flour here, sea salt, baking powder, maybe Take the butter out at the very last minute. Just cut it into chunks. Add the butter chunks to the flour mixture. And I like to use my fingers to incorporate the butter into the flour. You want to keep mixing until it resembles a fine crumb. Look at this. Okay, I think it's just about ready. So now I'm just going to make a hole in the center and pour in the water. This is one cup of water plus two tablespoons. Keep mixing until the wet and dry ingredients are fully incorporated. Generously flour the work surface and transfer the dough onto it. Use your hands to knead the dough. Keep mixing to form a dough. You want to keep uh, kneading the dough until it's no longer sticking to the counter uh, top or your workspace. There, there you go. It's nice and smooth. Beautiful. Make a round and just cover it with a bowl and allow it to sit for about 30 this minutes. This will relax the dough and allow it to roll out much better. Okay, so the dough has been resting for about 30 minutes. You can let it go up to about 45 minutes so it's uh, more relaxed. I'm just going to make a log. I'm going to make about, um, I would say, 10. I eyeball the portions and pre-mark it before cutting. You can make them as big or as uh, little as you uh, prefer. There you go. Just going to form a ball with each. I'm going to be cooking this in a frying pan. Over the surface. I use a rolling pin to roll out the dough to about six to eight inch round. As thin as you can get it without it breaking. These cook very quickly. I have my uh, frying pan being heated. I'm using medium to medium low heat. I usually like to roll out two or three at a time. Cook the tortilla in a frying pan using medium heat. When bubbles start to form, flip the tortilla. You'll get nice little brown spots. Then cook it for about another minute and remove to a platter. Continue rolling out and cooking each tortilla, one to two minutes per side. The 
brownness, you just want little speckles of uh, light brown. If it start getting too uh, dark brown, you definitely want to adjust your heat. I am just about down to my very last tortilla. Look at that. How amazing is that? I like to keep them each uh, tortilla in between these um, parchment paper and then I'm going to cover this with aluminum foil to keep it warm. Wow, how beautiful does that look? I have to try a piece. Look how soft that is. Mm. Nice and buttery. Absolutely delicious. And this is going to make an incredible quesadilla. I can't wait to share the quesadilla recipe with you for shrimp. I hope you'll make this recipe and enjoy it as much as we do around here. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you. Until next time, happy cooking.